to come today because um, to talk to you about something that is important to all of our family, but especially to both of us, which is the John F. Kennedy Library. And we've become involved in it now that um, we're both out of school and uh, are really taking an active role in it. And um, we... Um, Somebody told me about that. <laughs> 
I haven't actually seen her. <laughs> <laughs> What were you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing all, I'm losing all self-control. <laughs> so oh my God! <laughs> what a wonderful sort of captions you could write underneath that. Get somebody help me. <laughs> It's as bad as they told me it was. I thought they were exaggerating. <laughs> no. A strategy plan or something. Based yeah. on the morning period. It's a good event. Been by yeah. holding a blackboard or another. I am convinced that we Mr. President, it's an old established tradition that uh, Shamrock is presented to the President of the United States on St. Patrick's Day. Hope I can get this pin out. And uh, this reflects the ties of kinship between the Irish in our island and the Irish here in the United States, of whom you, sir, are uh, the Great representative. Thank you. And uh, St. Patrick's Day is uh, a day which reminds us all of these ties of kinship and affection. This year in particular, we recall with sponsor where you were given the freedom of the city and your stay in Ashford Castle. Uh, with a long tradition of silver making. Indeed, it is said, uh, legend has it, that uh, of Cork, I present to you, sir, on behalf of all citizens of Cork and all Irish people, this silver dish. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And I would like in return to present to you, before I my remarks, this letter and you will notice that there is a very special letterhead on this White House stationery. I'm Tark Bond. Well, I'm pleased that we could get together since on St. Patrick's Day, uh, we will be out of town. As a matter of fact, we'll be out of the country. But I'm always happy to send, spend St. Patrick's Day with great Irishmen and reciprocate the warm hospitality that greeted us on our trip to Ireland last year. Dialogue and support all those who are working for peaceful reconciliation there and among them. Very much, pro very prominently is Ambassador Tag O'Sullivan, who's working for that reconciliation. I'm honored to receive this shamrock and will wear it as an expression of my hope with Ireland. And the Irish people is deep and enduring. I understand that this bowl here has, as we've been told, a special historical meaning for the city of Cork. Uh, it has a little historical meaning for... Add some special flavor now. I would like to have a presentation made to the ambassador. Who are some representatives. And one of them is going to present Girl Scout cookies to the ambassador. 
You have done it already. <laughs> we'll do it again, what? <laughs> yes. The, uh, yes, just put it there. Now, because I'm afraid that those people with the cameras didn't see you. Well, thank you very much, and thank you all for thank being here. Thank you, girls. Appreciate it. I didn't know you. Are those special uniforms for the day? <laughs> Oh, and down there at his house, I was amazed at the inventions. Oh, right. 